This slide give explanations in terms of the potential failure modes of the columns in relation to the geometrical property of the columns as represented by effective length divided by the radius of gyrations. We know that there are two types of columns, which are short columns and slender columns. The short columns usually fail in crushings, while slender columns normally fail in buckling. Due to the slenderness of the columns, and with the existence of the end moments at the columns, it is liable to undergo buckling where it deflects sideways. This leads to an eccentricity of columns axis from the original vertical axis, which is known as E at. You know that the Asia loads applying to the columns is actually acting at the tangents positions to the curvature. This leads to an additional moment caused by the vertical loops multiply the E at. These additional columns will cause further lateral deflections of the members. This leads to buckling, and because of the buckling, the columns normally fail before reaching its axial capacity. This curve demonstrates the potential failure of the column in relation to the critical Asia value in comparison to the ultimate Asia loads of the column with respect to the geometrical property of the columns which is expressed in the mode of effective length divided by the radius of gyrations. The formulas of the radius of gyrations is given here. It is basically related to the area of the sections as well as the second moment of initial of the sections. The critical value of Asia loop is determined based on the formula here. And the Asia looks of the columns is given by this formula as derived from the previous slide. From the curve here, the regions beyond the curve here will undergo buckling while the regions before the curve will undergo crushing. What you see from the curve here, when the column is relatively slender, where the L per I is more than 110, the columns will buckle even though not even reaching its critical value load. This is represented by the ratio of n critical divided by the design ultimate ratio load which is less than 1.0. That means if you have the sections property of the columns with the L per I more than 110, you will expect your Asia resistance of the columns will be significantly affected and it will not be larger than the end critical. If you look at the ratio of less than 50, based on the curve here, you can expect your Asia resistance of the columns beyond 5 times the critical loops of the Asia of the member. This represents a typical short column situation and the failures of the columns is normally going to be crushing. From here, you know that if you wish to design for a safe short column, you can adjust the size of the columns with L per I less than 50. And if you realize that the L per I is more than 110, that means the columns is very likely to fail in buckling and the full Asia capacity of the columns may not be able to be fully utilized. As the additional moment 
will likely to self-propagate to accelerate the failures of the columns.